Guys, Rich here, looking at this uh, 1966 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, we are uh, looking at the stamp pad right now uh, for a potential online buyer. As you can see, the VIN on the stamp pad matches the VIN of the car. Matches the VIN of the car right here. Okay. There's the uh, build date, body code, trim tag, factory red, all that good stuff. <clears throat> okay. A little cheat sheet that was made up for this car. Um, let me get this in order here. Kind of goes like this. Okay, there we see the VIN number listed of the car. Okay. Uh, production number 26851, last series, last part of the VIN. Uh, trim tag shows a body build date of July 20th, 1966. Uh, ch -ch 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 Rally red paint with red interior. Uh, casting number on the block shows a date, June 2nd. That's well within our one month tolerance of being able to um, uh, be on the car. Both heads are identical, July 5th. Um, May is the intake manifold. A mm, little late, but still probably fair enough of a day uh, within a month of uh, a month a month month and a half of the car could have been used for the car um no way to tell if that's like the actual one that was on the car um exhaust manifold good for a 66 exhaust manifold good for a 66 holly carburetor correct 327 300 with manual transmission that's how it should be uh, water pump is numbered distributor numbered um, let's see, starter is not correct for the car, was replaced in 1970, you know, the car is not going to go to judging, so really does really, you know, in, inconsequential at this point, engine pad identification, this is the good stuff here, so we've got a, uh, July, July 6th of 1966 engine pad, uh, stamp on the car, uh, that falls well within our July 20th body date of the car. Uh, these two would never have had the same, they just, they didn't do a body in the car and the engine in the same day. That'd be exceptionally, exceptionally rare. Usually it's, a, it's as much as a month between the two. This doesn't get much better than this, about two weeks. And then um, stamp number 612-6851. Production number matches the last series of the VIN. Perfect. M20 transmission, all matches for the car. So rear end assembly, July 11th, that chimes with the car also. So all good stuff. Uh, without having this car judged uh, officially by a, a judge of some kind, uh, which that guy's interpretation would even be suspect, or you know, uh, the guy's interpretation is just some somebody's opinion. There is, uh, without getting this car into like the original or a regional or something like that, or having the stamp pad verified by an out by like a, a Grenning's verification service, which is expensive. Uh, this, this kind of lays it out and you just have to kind of know Corvettes and know what you're looking at and know that we're looking at something that looks like good brooch marks and good size and good characters and all that good stuff. And, uh, it would be exceptionally rare for like these casting dates, uh, the casting number, this casting date. I mean, you, you know, if this isn't the original engine for the car, someone would have had to find a car that was within two weeks of the car being built by the body tag. And so, you know, pretty much a closed case here as a counselor would say. Okay. So, Moving on to some of this other items. Vet Specialties out of Minnesota. Very, very well recognized uh, Corvette restoration shop. We have uh, parts and labor 
uh, drive shaft yoke. We have um, bu, 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 bu. that's not very detailed on that piece of paper. Um, very detailed. Rear brakes, strut rods, rear springs, uh, trans tunnel insulation, shock absorber, uh, brake and gas line clamp kits, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff that was completely apart on the car. Um, hood latches, uh, hood cables, heater box cover, brake lines, uh, clutch rod boot, you know, all this fresh stuff. Another three grand there, three grand, six grand in the last two pages, eight grand in the last three pages. Speedo, front brake cal uh, front brake cable, brake lines, um, brake calipers, brake clips, brake hoses, all brake components right here. This is all brake components, brake shoes, everything, 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 every every brake component right here listed. Another eleven hundred bucks. Clutch, um, blower motor for the heat. Rear spindles, fuel line bolts, another 500 bucks, another 3,200 bucks. We got uh, rear wheel bearings, clean and paint the frame, clean and paint the firewall, clean and rebuild wiring harness, install brake and brake lines, rebuild drive shaft, remove shifter, dismantle, clean, 3,200 bucks. Front lower volance, mm -mm -mm. paint, uh, got some paint work here, um, front lamp panels, rear end mount bolt kits, uh, you name it, every piece of the car, another 2600 bucks, what's this, mm, this is a copy, nope, not done yet, not even close. Door opening mechanisms, plastic bushings, bushings for new locks, bushings for new window cranks, J nuts, rivets, retainer screws, all this stuff by Corvette Specialties, Plymouth, Minnesota. Turn the front rotors. Four hundred bucks at the end of this page. Headlight bucket switches. Uh, ashtray door slides. I mean, you know, every, every part purchased new for this car, every single part. I mean, nothing was reused, you know, this, this guy thought I'm not going to put the old ashtray slides back in there. Okay. That's what this, this restorer said. And that's, and the owner of the car said, yep, just do it. I mean, this is, it's crazy. Screw kits that go on there. 500, another 550 bucks. Okay. Dash indicator fan clutch, another forty six hundred bucks. Oh, here we go, another one. Headlight pivot point bearings, eight hundred bucks at this end of this page. Radiator bolts, battery tray kit. This, I mean, I'm not. This is. This is a, this is a comprehensive restoration on this car. Comprehensive. Expansion tanks, tanks, radiator hoses, hood, hood hinges, new hood hinges, hose clamps, heater hose retainers, 470 bucks at the end of that page. Heater hoses, repair and fit doors, strip car, strip car right here. Yeah. End of this group, six thousand dollars at the end of that group. I, I lost count. I don't even know what we're up to. Restoration started in two thousand three. Car was in good condition. We wanted excellence, so we started from the frame up to the new soft top. Professionally restored everything in between to the original specs of all GM. Drive shaft done. Oh six. Still wasn't done in oh six. Still wasn't done in oh seven. 07, car still not done. 
gas tank, rear window channel liners, rocker panels, rocker panels, uh, screw kits. This is intense, intense restoration. I, you know, I, I, this is getting pointless to read all this. Two thousand bucks, another two thousand bucks. Every single piece touched on the car. New gas pedal. I mean, the old one wasn't gonna work. It's just, it's, it's crazy. The old one wasn't gonna get sandblasted and and polished or sandblasted and painted or even the rod for it. You know, not just the rubber pedal. Another sixty five hundred bucks at the end of this series. You know. Twenty two hundred bucks at the end of this one. Complete convertible top, including frame and paint the frame. Install new weather strip kit. Eight hundred bucks in 07. Still wasn't on the road in 07. Four years after the restoration started. Let's see. Performance muffler, distributor cap, rotor, uh, 2015. There we go. What do we got here? 2015. Throttle sticks. Driver's side window will not crank up. They fixed it. Uh, hose clamp, distributor cap, rotor button, window urethane, tail spout, chrome extension, exhaust clamp. 836 bucks. Got the owner back on the road. Uh... This is probably a duplicate. <clears throat> Turn rear rotors. Get the car. Um, it doesn't have a date on this one. Yeah, it does. 06, 07 paid. Labor. $10,000. Oh, this is the, the total of a series of these. Excuse me. Payment receipts. Payment receipts, payment receipts. Oh five. This is the this is the engine rebuild. Complete engine rebuild right here. Thirty five hundred bucks. Everything. Pistons. By Performance Concepts, Forest Lake, Minnesota. Disassemble complete engine in for rebuild and prep for cleaning operations. Everything done. Every piece touched. This is, you know, odds and ends parts here. Long Island Corvette Supply. I mean, uh, we really need to go through all this stuff. Supplies for paint, for painting the car. This is, this is, I mean, well I'm not going through the rest of this stuff this is intense this is a this is a, a, a very very detailed restoration I'm not sure what we're looking for in here I don't think we're going to find anything that says you know switched out engine or you know, repaired the crash on the car. I've already gone over the body completely on the car. Uh, it's got a great looking body on it. Looks like it's a no hit body to me. And yeah, lots of more parts in 06, parts in 06, parts in 07. And then it looks to me like the car never got driven. So that's what it looks like to me. So I'm gonna keep dumping this out more and more and more. Parts, parts, parts. Vet specialties. Every receipt saved, you know? I mean, that ought to tell you something right there that this wasn't some fly by night restoration that they kept all this stuff. Like I said, 
They didn't do uh, build sheets or anything like that. Tank stickers weren't done in 66, so there's not a lot that can come with the car unless it, you know, you get it through some of these judging processes or something like that. If it was a top flight car, I'd ask $10,000 more than I'm asking for the car, and I would probably not take a penny less than that. 08, um, odometer in 65,000 in 08. Small gauge lens gasket. What's the car have on it? Assuming that's correct on the on the car or on the on their piece of paper, seventy six thousand, ten thousand miles since oh eight, eleven thousand miles since oh eight. Talk about barely driven. Okay. Dyno engine. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Two thousand prior to restoration. Assuming that everybody has their dates correct on this stuff, guys. What a great car. What a mess of receipts. Nineteen sixty-six Chevrolet Corvette. Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana.